Hey everybody, how you all doing? Thanks for watching the video. Um, it's much appreciated. Today we're going to be scrapping down this um, medical research incubator we received. We got it from a company called Nova Biotics in Aberdeen. Um, a medical research company. It's actually, we've, we got one about a month ago from them and now they've donated another two. I've already scrapped the other one down. Um, it's taken too much space, I got rid of it. And now I'm going to do this one so you guys can see what's inside of it. Now you might think medical research equipment brimming with goodies like high grade boards, copper and other things like that. But, sorry to tell you, not much in this. Okay. Got display, display here. Power cable runs up the inside of the door. Okay. Glass. Stainless steel drum. That is really it. There's a power board at the back which I'll show you when we take the back covers off. There's polystyrene inside of it. There's some foam inside the door. Apart from that, it's just steel, plastic, and there's a tiny, and I mean tiny, where is it? Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of copper pipe. That is it. That's about, apart from a couple of copper cables, some low grade cables, that is the extent of the copper that's in it, really. Um, there's not much in these whatsoever. They do come with pure copper shelves or stainless steel shelves but, and we're not lucky enough to get the shelves um, we've not had any shelves of them, they must have kept those for future use which is absolutely fine we'll still be happy to scrap it down, we're, they gave us a lovely cash donation as well for taking the stuff away and help them out get rid of it so it's much appreciated um, lovely lady called Jennifer so if you're watching this Jennifer say thank, thank you very much from us to you, you and all of your team um, we're more than happy to take stuff off your hands and help scrap it down and get it all recycled as always, we'll get it all broken down into individual components. Um, only different. Only thing is, is the plastic. You all know, say it in almost every video, we can't do the hard plastics. And we're still looking for a company. So please, comment. Let us know if you know any, any companies out there that can help us with the hard plastics. Uh, as always, the donation link is up on the description. Feel free to donate if you are able to. Or if you want to, every little helps. It helps us get new machines. It helps us get new training equipment so we can train kids. It helps us get new training equipment so we can actually train adults as well. Um, it helps keep lights on and it helps us uh, for future pro projects and plans as well. So please donate if you can. Or if you just want to give a thumbs up and like it, that is just as good. Okay, guys? So we'll start with taking the door off. Uh, and as Sod's Law, it doesn't want to come off. It's just rounding in the bolt. Let's try another one. Nope. Now, the other one came off simple, nice and easy. This one, for some reason, doesn't want to shift. So, might be a good old hammer job to the plastic to get it open. Where are we at here? Try to find a bit that fits this. It's a big hex, it's a bit of a hex bolt, so try to find one that fits. I'll try and get this off. Nope. They go in, but it's just rounding off in the bolt, so it's not helping whatsoever. None of my bits seem to be fitting it. It's a little bit tighter, maybe this will do the job. I always find that, there's always one bolt, you just kind of get out. That's it. Okay, now we have to cut the cables underneath. As I said, the power cable runs right through, right through this, so... Pinhead pliers here. Good old Stanley. I told you before, I like my Stanley tools. Especially to strapping up. Let's lay that flat, flat. And as you can see, cables are here. Let's tease them out a little bit. Get the other pliers. Oh, it's quite late at night here, guys. It's Sunday. I thought I'd just get another video out of the way. That way I can get more, more um, metal for the metal yard tomorrow morning. I was planning doing this video during the week, but I thought, nah, I'll just get it out of the way tonight. So, we'll do this tonight. Get it out of the way. That's one cable done. And two. So. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, there's not much to these whatsoever. So you can see it there, just like the fridge, pull that off. It's an all-in-one. So I'm going to bin. There's lots of little 
Phillips head screws keeping the plastic retainers in place. So I need to get them out. So I'll start unscrewing those. Now I started doing the other incubator and my drill run out of batteries. Uh, and that was not bad enough. Then the microphone ran out of batteries, so hence the other one got done off of camera. Now I'll speed this up for you guys. I just want to make sure I've got the right fitting bit. Doesn't seem like it. That should do now. Yeah, we're in business now. Right, I'll get this off, guys. I'll speed this up for you, and then we'll have a look at what's underneath. Right folks, that's those bits off, just plastic, little plastic runners, okay, just for the, they're there literally just for that rubber seal. Three screws down each side, two screws on top, so we'll quickly get them out. There's not much in here, it's got some foam in it, it's got the power cables running up to the board, and that's it, and that's buttons that's on the front of the door, there's no mylar on it, it's just plastic sticky cover. Usually if it is mylar we'll keep that, obviously we'll, we'll do a future video on some silver recovery. I've got a load of CDs and DVDs to split in half soon. I'll do a video on that and show you how much of a monotonous job that is. Screws for the screw bin, which is always hungry isn't it? Screw bin's always hungry. So, metal cover, it's just steel. Pull the cable through it. Let you see it. So that's the back of that. It's got some thermal wire in here. Let's take this sticky tin foil, peel it back a little bit to get to the wires. For medical research equipment, it's pretty basic. Yeah, I did warn you. Pretty basic. So you get this thermal wire, there you go. Yeah, as I said, we've got a metal run in the morning. So the plans for us tomorrow is, I'm taking the van into town, it's full of metal, quite literally. Um, full of brim. Going to pick up Jamie. Um, he's not getting off with an easy day of refurbs tomorrow. I'm going to take him out in the van with me. We're going to get rid of the metal. We've got to go up from Aberdeen up to Peterhead, pick up a VCR player for a refurb job. And that'll be getting put back to the office for refurbishment and resale. They're very popular right now on our eBay sales of VCR players, so if we find them, we'll pick them up as quickly as we can. Um, people just seem to be loving them just now. There must be a thing on the VCRs getting popular with certain people, certain groups. This doesn't want to come off. It's just a little bolt holding this plastic retaining clip on. There we go. Snip that. 
So there's a little power cable. We'll strip the copper off that. It's a three core, three core copper cable. That'll go through the machine at a future date, probably this week sometime. Peel this thermal wires off. All you've got to do is pull that, pulls right through the tin foil. The insulation. Now, someone's definitely had a sense of humour at some point with this, as you can see. So that's that one done. Steel plate. A couple of kilos of steel there. Foam, eh, felt. Now, usually I'd be annoyed at stuff like this, but see this? It's great for me right now, because I don't know if you've seen my other videos or you can see behind me, but I do have a vintage fridge from the 1950s. I picked it up from a lady who was clearing out her mum's estate. So I picked it up for free. As soon as she said it was going for free, I snapped it up. I've always wanted one of those vintage fridges, vintage fridges to do a refurb job on it. So my plan is to completely refurb that fridge inside and out, redo the fibre inside, fiberglass inside, um, skim, paint the outside, get it all up and running. I was thinking, oh, it might not work, so I got it back here, plugged it in, and it fired up first time, no problem at all. And that compressor's from the 50s. You get a fridge these days, it lasts about a year, and it conks out on you. So when I do the door, I'm going to use foam on the inside of that fridge, but inside the door, it's got all felt, so I'm going to use this felt along the felt I got out the other incubators. It's not thick, but I'm going to use this to put inside the door of the fridge when I'm refurbishing it. And then I'll use some foam, expanding foam, on the, on the inside of it, the main body. Polystyrene. Okay, we'll take this to the office. I've got the van full of it from the other, other incubators. We'll use this for packaging for our eBay sales. That won't go to waste. It'll actually come in handy for us. So often you can say that. Here's a little board here I was talking about. Again, just a couple of little Phillips head screws. There's a data cable plugged in here. That'll go through the door. Design days really like the screws, don't they? It's like those TVs are done now. The video like 12 to 14 screws holding on a logic board. It's not much on there. Okay, this is a display board, a few LEDs. Yeah, there's some brass contacts, copper, brass, probably copper contacts in these ones. Might be some silver contacts. I'll need to. Take one out and find out. See if my screwdriver can go in there just now. No, it's just copper contacts. So we'll get the copper, little bits of copper out of there. Crystal oscillator, flat chip there. There's a chip there. Not really much else on it. Probably something under there. Find out. So as you can see, so that's one of the light strips. It's all resin in the back and circuitry. We could smash that open with a hammer if we really wanted to and see what was in it. I've done it before. Again, there's not much in there at all. So that's the board out of it. Put that there just now. Excuse me, I'm coming down a cold, I'm sure I am. So that's just plastic. So plastic into the plastic then. There's a little bit of metal on the bottom here. Take that off just so it's separate. Don't want it going into the wrong bins, do we? That's definitely steel. It's heavy and it's rusted. Always a giveaway when it's rusted. Aluminium, of course, won't rust. That's steel. That's plastic. It's just for storage right now. We'll smash that down with a hammer to get rid of it. That makes it easier to get rid of. So we've got a glass door here. Safety glass, tempered glass. Okay. Uh, we're still talking to the glass company to see if anyone wants to take glass off our hands for reuse. Uh, you'd think they'd say, oh yeah, free glass, we'll take it, that's what we specialise in, but um, although they were nice on the phone, they're not really great at getting back in touch. There's a rubber seal here. Okay, we'll peel that off. Silicon seal by the feel of it, not rubber silicon. Okay, stainless steel drum, just like a dishwasher, you've got these bits on the inside, but 
awkward to get out unless the drums have been loosened from the outside. Little brackets. Get them with the plier when they come out. So they're high grade stainless steel. We've tested them the magnet. Completely un unmagnetic. So they're stainless steel. They're stainless steel little um, rails on the bottom, and this is high grade stainless steel as well. So not too bad. Um, we need to get this off of here. So a couple of Phillips heads. There is a hex bolt up here in this plastic retainer, which is on the main body, but it's quite awkward to get into. So it's easier to take the Phillips heads off the actual glass and just pull the glass off just now. We'll get the other bit of plastic off later. Sod's low. This one does not want to come out. Don't want to smash the glass either, but I need to get this clip off of here. It's always one. Yep. Yeah. Like have to take those hex bolts out after all. If we can get into them. Can't find a bit that fits now. Let's see if this one goes in. Easier than the last one came out. That's it. So glass door off. We'll get the plastic off that later, and we'll make sure it is disposed of properly. A couple of screws on top, which are all Phillips head. So we'll get them out. There's a couple of screws on the sides, and then it's just the backing plates. As I said, there's not much to these guys. Not much to them at all. That's just a clip that holds the door in place. There we go. Some screws here. Let's just keep the drum in place. Well, the drum, the main stainless steel cabinet on the inside, sorry. Two screws on each side here at the bottom. There's one that doesn't want to come out. I have to use a different head for that one. And those ones. Sod's law. Turn it around for you. There you go, back of it. Much like a washing machine almost, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. So shelves here. Steel. And get this cover here. The, the board I was on about earlier is in here. Along with some thermal cables. Some of this flat wire cable that came out, data cables, and a couple of earth cables. Power cable goes through here as well. So I'll speed this up for you just now. Right folks, 
that's that one almost off. One little hidden screw here, keeping it on. Steel. And there you go, on the only side of it. There's not much in it. Again, for medical research equipment, you would think, well, we have a lot more high-tech stuff, but no, there is not. A couple of spades, keeping on the earth cables. That's it. Data cables, start them off. That's a water hose. Looks like it's seen better days. It's all burnt inside there. Okay. A couple of little retaining clips, keeping some cables on. I'll snip them off. Snip these big connectors off now because when it goes to pull in the cables through that little grommet on the back of this they get stuck so there's a couple of copper cables to come out there's all this thermal cables to pull through it all goes through there we'll get that in a minute Okay, and data cable, that'll go through the machine, and there's these cables here. So bear with me, I'll get this board out to show you. I've got the first one of these in, I really did think, oh, I'm going to get a lot of good stuff. But no. Sometimes that's just the way it is, that's just the case sometimes. Tip this up. It's not heavy. I mean, we've got the first one says it's about 70 kilo, so I was expecting a great big heavy machine, but it wasn't actually that heavy. It wouldn't be, it's full of Paul Seyrig. So it's got some ports at the side, it's got a VGA port at the side here, so we'll just take those little hex nuts out. There you go, I can see what I'm doing now. now we do actually have a body camera guys, we've forked out for a body camera, we can use it when we're doing the house moves and stuff in a van, van jobs. I keep forgetting to use it when I'm doing these videos. I will get around to using it at some point, some of the videos. We're actually going to look, see if we can get a gimbal that's got a remote control on it for zooming in and stuff. That can be work with a video app, that way we can zoom in on projects like this, so it's not just on a tripod steering at me like this. Something I can use a controller on and zoom in when I'm doing videos on my own. So if anybody has any suggestions, please put a comment in or get in touch through our Facebook page, Destiny P01. Always happy to hear suggestions on new kit that we can use to make things better for your viewing and for us in general. Makes it easier. Then, great. Before we get that board, so a couple of screws here. Nothing on the back of it. Okay, bit of a copper coil there. You see that? A couple of fuses, resistors, heat sink. Really, a couple of chips. Yeah, some more heat sinks. Some silver capacitors there. Nothing, nothing too good in it. Some gold pins in there and the network port. So we'll, we'll depopulate the board. Exactly the same as the one that came out the other, the other one. So we'll get those depopulated. Of course, there's copper, copper, copper coil there. We'll get the copper out of that as well. Now this bit I've just unscrewed it aside. There we go. A little switch. Okay. Voltage switch or something. I'm not an electrician. I take things apart, I don't put them together. I refurb some things, but again, I'm not an electrician. So if you know what this is, feel free to let us know. Happy to hear. Now, there's two waste pipes there. Okay, two waste pipes, and they should just, if I'm right, 
Yep, yeah, there's a little plug there. There's a plug there. It's just plug on the inside. So we'll get rid of the plug. Two little plugs. If we take this back panel off, there'll be a plastic nut to get that off. So again, I'll get all these screws out around the back panel, and then you can see the back, the inside of the back of it. And I'll speed this up for you again. Alright guys, last screw, keep this back panel on, and then we'll have to get the cables through it. So pull that through, put those cables, and then we've got all these cables at the bottom to come out as well. So there's a little clip keeping these on, see if we can get that unscrewed. Clip there. Keep the cables on. See. So again, I've got the metal bin. Get plastic off it. some aluminium risers in there, okay, not major, there's some aluminium risers, there is a brass bit there so we'll get the copper rivets drilled out of there before we put in the van and we'll recover that brass, so that will get sorted, once everything else is done, good old polystyrene as I said earlier on, the tape, nice thickness so if we're packing some servers up or computers or screens, a lot will come in handy for packing up for eBay. And there's the inside of it, there's more of this insulation with the copper, the, not the copper, the insulating wire through it. Just foam, foam donut keeping this plastic bit in place. That's a plastic nut off. Simply push that through. And you get all these thermal cables, just got to pull them all off one at a time now. Look at that. Ooh, simples. And go it around to the side as well. So. We're going to put those pliers now. There they go. Snip this earth cable because it's getting in the way. In fact, I don't want to snip it, I'll keep it long, we'll cut the plastic cable, keep it in place. Get these black ones snipped to keep them tidied up. There you go. There's a couple of little nuts on an aluminium bracket here, keeping the stainless steel drum in place. Take that out and the bracket should just come away. The polystyrene needs a little bit of help coming out. It's stuck down at the edges. Sheet of polystyrene. 
other side as well. Persuasion, scene comes out. Bottom one as well. But tip it on its front, make it easier for me. So you just bear with me. There's these stainless steel rails on the bottom. So we'll get those off once it's all emptied out. This one's packaged slightly different from the last ones I've done in regards to the polystyrene sheets. Right, let's get these screws out. A couple of screws holding that bracket in place. I keep forgetting they're there. This is the third one of these I've done and I've forgot every time. That's aluminium brackets, it's on some adhesive. And then there's a polystyrene sheet from the bottom. Okay. So a fair bit of polystyrene in these, as I said. Now to get these brackets out, it's just a case of giving them a bit of again, gentle persuasion. So they're stainless steel as well. Easy to pull out. Okay, it's all rivets on the bottom. The power cables here, and there's just a bit of plastic ducting there. A little bit of plastic ducting keeping them on. And then there's this metal covers here, which will unscrew. Doesn't help much. This wire should now, there you go, pull all the way through there. These ones as well, hopefully. Yep. And the data cable. Now if I can get the drill to get these screws out at the side, I'll get these out as well. Let's change the screwdriver head. Hopefully something better fitting. I see it's been a grinder job soon. Yeah, the screws are just rounding. So that's not going to be an option getting that off just now. I'll have to get a grinder out of that. And I'm not doing that just now, so I said it's quite late here. So, just pull it through. Pull this one through. And that one, snap off. So there's the power cables. We'll get that through the copper machine. There's the data cables. This is flat data cables. So we'll get the heads off that for gold pin recovery. And the rest will just have to go into the cable bin that we have. So that's a screw. And this is now loose, so it should, should wrap that, just lift out, if any luck. A little bit noisy, but we got there in the end. Right. So that leaves us with empty steel drum. A little bit of polystyrene still inside it, but we'll get all that out. So steel drums there. This pops off the top. Again, polystyrene. And here is our stainless steel stainless steel drum. There's our data cable plugged on the top. 
That's the water pipe. We'll snap it off. It's just one of those flat ribbon cables. As you can see, connect it to the top of it. Now we've got more of these thermal cables that go all the way through and around the machine. They just need peeled off. So we'll get those all peeled off properly. Once we've got all the rest of the metal bits off, plastic bits off. It's just a case of, case of cleaning it now. And it'll go in a van for the yard tomorrow morning. So again, they're all the way through it. There you go, That's red thermal cables, done. This here, it's a tiny little board, don't have the one, there's a high, high grade bit of steel in there, tiny little board, and it is just literally connected with a few bolts on the inside, which are a little bit awkward to get to, so I'm going to have to do it off a camera. But in here, it's got the cage, okay, it takes a good Allen, it's a tiny little Allen key I need to use and tool about to get those bolts off. Allen key, get that fan off and give it a knock with a hammer and it pops out. Guys, sorry about that, for some reason the video just stopped recording, I have no idea why. Um, but as I was saying, it's just a couple of little Allen, uh, Allen key bolts in there keeping that in place, so it's a little bit fiddly to get into, but it is stainless steel as well, there's a little bit of thick high grade heavy stainless steel in there as well. So we'll get that out. Uh, before it goes in the van tomorrow. Um, there's some more of these brackets at the back. So again, there's high grade stainless steel. I've got obviously four of those here, four from the other one. Two of these drums, and plus all the steel that's on the outside. So the board itself, as I said, it's got an IC chip, it's got a little capacitor, it's got a couple of gold pins, so nothing great on that. There's a tiny little bit of copper pipe, as I mentioned. This here, the one I've done it for. As I said, it's just a, it's got a tiny little. Where is it? It's just got a small screw in there keeping that in place. So once that's undone, it pops right off, and we can hammer it out. Cage, simple. Is that? Yeah, high grade stainless as well. So it's all high grade stainless steel. That way it won't. And this fills. And this fills of moisture and uh, steam. Of course, it won't uh, rust. So that's it, we'll get it cleaned up, we'll get it in the van and we'll get it away off to the yard tomorrow to see what we get for the metal. So thanks again for watching guys, it's very much appreciated, okay. Um, it's been a long day so I'm going to call it a day, I'm going to go and watch Netflix and chill. Um, quite literally, probably fall asleep watching Netflix again. Um, thank you very much for watching the video, I'm just going to move this because the light is reflecting. As I said, we need to get a gimbal or something, it's, it's remote controlled. So the felt will get used in my fridge refurb, which is great. The polystyrene will go to the office, the metal will go to the yard, plastic will have to go into the bin, the cables will go into the cable bin, and we'll recover the copper from all of the um, power cables. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. If you can, donate. It all, it all helps, okay? It all helps us out greatly. Um, if you can't, then just like it, subscribe, share. Thank you very much. Check us out on Facebook. If you want to contact us about any of our videos, if you want to contact us uh, about anything at all, if you're interested in any computers or refurb stuff we've got for sale, get in touch. It's on sale on Facebook. It's on sale on our eBay channel. And we'll happily give you details to go and view it. Um, at least you know you're getting it from us. You know it's legit. It's, it's not from from some scam seller it, we've put a lot of work into refurbishing the gear for you guys uh, for anybody's buying it so guys if you want anything check out what we've got for sale um and keep in mind refurb before new okay that way thought something gets a second life thanks very much for uh, watching the video guys i'll see you on the next one cheers now